Hello boys and girls, welcome to my tiny channel. I've been working on this 09, 09 Lexus um, 250, IS 250 with the 2.5 V6 engine. And I'm doing spark plugs, easy job, you know, six spark plugs, 30 minutes, you're done. Well, not really. The uh, passenger side is, it took 10, 15 minutes, but the driver's side, it's taking me much longer. And I decided to make a quick video on it. Okay, so kind of reverse, if you're doing this job, kind of a reverse engineering, I guess. Why it's a bit more difficult than usual? Because the intake is in the way, mainly this bracket right here blocks this uh, middle, I don't know what numbers, how they, the cylinders are numbered, but uh, anyways, this driver's side middle um, spark plug. That's why you cannot do this without taking this off. This one is somewhat easy, accessible. This one you could probably get away with. This is the problem right here. Anyways, let me show you. It's not very difficult if you know where the bolts are. So there are two kind of hidden ones. There's one right here and it connects right over here to the throttle body. And there is one here which connects to one of these. You can access this one right from here. There is a bunch of harnesses you got unplugged and a fuel line right here that's connected to here. And this is the bolt for it. Don't lose these washers. Look at this oil that came out out of the throttle body. By the way, Every time you got your, uh, your, you have access to the inside of the throttle body, clean it up. Okay, little bit, little uh, brake cleaner or throttle body cleaner, whatever, on a, a rag and just wipe it off. So I'm going to, I actually did it. I'm going to do it again. Yeah, all that oil is coming from inside the intake manifold. Check this out. Look at the carbon buildup on that valve. Hopefully you can see what I'm seeing. That's quite a bit. That's direct injection for you. Yep. For those who may not know, the difference between port and direct injection it's mainly where the fuel injectors are located. In port injection, the fuel injectors would be located inside the um, intake, somewhere along the way, before the uh, cylinders. Fuel would enter the combustion chamber with air together. The fuel will wash up the carbon buildup on the intake valve we, we just saw. Actually, they would never get dirty. They would be pretty clean if that was if this was port injection. Direct injection, the fuel injectors are inside the combustion chamber. So basically, it sprays fuel directly into the cylinder, pretty much, bypassing the intake valves. Now, some cars have both. I think the 350 IS has both direct and port injection. This one only has direct, but I'm not sure what this fuel line is uh, all about here. It is connected to the intake manifold, like I said before, which is right over here. I guess it somewhat cleans the intake. This is kind of soft dirt. This buildup is soft. There's just still just a lot of oil everywhere. So with the spark plugs, get yourself intake manifold gaskets as well. The black ones here, the rubber ones, go here. And the blue ones go right under underneath this kind of an upper intake, I guess. I'm not sure what to call this part, but uh, let's say, let's call it the upper intake or the lower intake, I'm sorry, lower intake. Pretty simple at this point to do this. This car actually has 101,000 miles on it. It had 
it has kind of trouble starting when when cold i won't be replacing this there is no air leaks i am just doing that gasket the rubber ones and the spark plugs now these are old i'm pretty sure these are original spark plugs i mean anyways i mean it is time you can see these are burned up a bit especially this one here i'm just going to replace these uh three spark plugs i already did the other side replace these gaskets here clean this up a little bit i already actually wiped this off this was um had dirt over here make sure you don't get any dirt inside here before you take these the coils off before you take anything off if you got compressed air just blow all this dirt off so when you take these off you don't get dirt inside here or here you i mean these this will still get dirty once you take this off because you won't be able to get with your compressed air underneath here just carefully take this off put it aside here the reason why this is like that because the throttle body has coolant going through it you don't need to take this hose off you would have to drain the coolant a little little bit or just i mean if you want if you're replacing the intake you can just pinch this rubber line rubber hose and take one line off you're still gonna have some coolant spill but uh, it's not gonna it's not gonna be a lot but you can just get away with uh this is the only thing that i did not disconnect these two hoses here okay your inlet and outlet so there's plenty of room for you to put it aside unplug the coils first careful see how this one came out with the seal this one didn't have a look inside look for oil if you do find oil inside where the spark plugs sit that means you got to replace the valve cover gasket Check this out. This is this last one here. The gap is 51, 41, and 50. This is a new one. Let's see. 42, 43. These are pre-gapped. Don't don't put cheap spark plugs in here. These are iridium, NGK. Is what I'm putting in. About 20 bucks a piece. I'm going to torque these down to 15, 15, 18, should be alright. You could probably get away without replacing these. The rubber is... Well, it's not soft, super soft anymore, but why risk it? I didn't remember how much the um, these seals were. So I've just noticed these actually matter. The way they are shaped, see this is kind of a... Uh, almost like an egg this doesn't this part does not have this is more round this is kind of more flat okay so this fitted perfectly let's see what happens if I flip it see this one seems too big for this side and this I need to stretch so pay attention okay I did unplug this so 
first uh, plug this in. Right there. This guy here, we're plug in right in the back. So I gotta get this closer to the firewall. And now, plug in that white plug. There we go, click. And take a look, last look underneath. Check the seals, they're all still in there. There we go. Easy. Here, this vacuum line here. You can squeeze the clip with your fingers. No need to use pliers. Plug this in. Another vacuum line here. Here, harness in. Now there was a plug underneath this guy here. Okay, that's all I'm going to do on this side before I put this fuel line back in. I'm going to finish mounting the intake manifold. So this is what you're working with. We got two 10 mil nuts, one 10 mil bolt, and four or six Allen bolts. So obviously these two, the nuts go here on the studs. This will go, actually didn't need to take this off, I just noticed. This just holds the cover, the engine cover, the plastic cover. Now there's one here. One in there. The Allen ones are five mil. The fuel line here, it's actually it's got a mounting point in the back of the intake. Okay, torque specs for these for the intake manifold is 15 foot pounds of torque. Oh shit, my socket is stuck. Okay, I was gonna start from the middle. But since one, since that one is stuck, I'm gonna get it. Actually, no. What I can do, I have another five mil. Yep, I'm slowly but surely stripping the inside of that bolt and then finish the rest of them. This one's kind of sketchy. I'm gonna leave it at 14, it almost feels like it's stripping. So we did one, two, three, four, five, six Allen ones and two 10 mil nuts. Intake is bolted down. You probably won't be able to see it, but uh, remember that bracket in the back. This 12 mil goes there. Now that fuel line. Could not find any torque specs. I'm gonna do 15 and see where it takes me. Okay, maybe a little bit more. How about 18? Okay, that's more like it. Could probably even go up to 20.
If it's gonna leak, basically tighten it up a little bit more. Okay, one more bolt, another 12 mil. That bracket that I was telling you about, right behind this harness here. Now that I look at it, you would not be able to do the last spark plug with the intake on. All right, this side is officially done. Okay, this little 10 mil. Now, what I did was, this actually moves back and forth. I was able to bend it back ever so slightly, so there is this, I think it's a fuel line blocking the throttle body. When you, once you have everything apart, you wanna, you're ready to pull it off, this will be in the way. So pull this back, don't be afraid. Probably about half an inch or so. Nothing, nothing is gonna break. I'm gonna need two hands for this. So on this side, as you can see, all I had to take off was the intake pipe the box, the intake box at just the top and this line here and just I took this off just to make my life easier took these two 10 mil nuts off to pull away the harness and then you have access to all the spark plugs All right, let's try it out. It's smoking because oil spilled. When the intake was flipped over, the oil was leaking down the valve cover and some of it got on, on the exhaust manifold. Should have sprayed it off before I started it. All right, that's it. All is well, new spark plugs. New intake, manifold gasket. Not very a difficult job, just requires some time. Anyways, I hope this helped you out. If it did, give me a like, comment. If I missed something or there is a better way, let me know. Consider subscribing. Also, check out my Subaru STI EJ25 build videos. So thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. <laughs> I gotta get out of here.